our Easter Day intercessions. The response to we pray to the Father is hear our prayer. So enjoy and hope this Easter tide. Let us pray to the Father. That our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That persecuted Christians and all who suffer for their faith may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter and that we, in this time of isolation and uncertainty, may hold firm to our resurrection faith. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. We pray for our church family in Broomfield, for our ministry team, church wardens, PCC, and all who bring their gifts to our fellowship. And we pray that we may use this time apart to deepen our prayer for each other. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may provide for those who lack food or shelter or work. We pray for all refugees, for the homeless, and for all those who have lost their jobs recently due to the coronavirus pandemic. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That by his power, war and famine may cease through all the world. We pray for the people of Syria for those suffering from the effects of climate change in Africa, for all who are anxious about money at the moment or about where their next meal will come from. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak and the dying to comfort and strengthen them. We pray for all those affected by the coronavirus, for those in hospital, in intensive care, for those sick at home, for those who care for them. And we give thanks for our National Health Service, for carers, care home staff, the emergency services, shop workers, and all who are putting their own health at risk in the service of others. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That according to his promises, all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may be raised at the last day. We pray for the recently departed, for Cliff, for Alan and for their families, giving thanks for their lives and for their service to this church. And we remember the many who have died recently due to this virus, praying for comfort for their families. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer that he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, so that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. We pray that we may be an Easter people, full of joy and hope. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as his death has recalled us to life, so his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>